Hey, welcome back to the internet. So we have another exciting Simpsons drink. So today we're going to make red tick beer. Bold, refreshing, and something you can't quite put your finger on. So do you have my assistant Zoe here? So I could just fill the bathtub up with beer and uh, she won't mind swimming around with it. That is the <laughs> traditional way to make it. And I, even though she is looking adorable and would love to bathe in some beer, I'm sure, <laughs> we're going to try it a little different way. Sorry, Zoe, no beer for you. <laughs> so we're going to make a beer cocktail. So we've got the nice uh, white water stout, oatmeal milk stout. But we're going to mix it with cider. Mm -hmm. I can tell people are excited about the oatmeal milk stout. I don't know what the milk part is, but ah, well. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know. So, pretty simple, just going to fill it, you know, halfway with cider. And halfway with beer. So, since Zoe isn't going to swim in the beer, we're not going to get any actual ticks, so what we're going to use as a substitute, pick something a little more tasty, is bacon. I, it's bread and it's protein, so I say close enough and way better than pulling ticks off an animal. <laughs> so we'll just cut it up in a small pieces there. And uh, the other thing, I figure if you have dogs swim around in laps uh, for hours on end in a vat, you probably get some dog hair, which again, doesn't sound very appetizing, so as a substitute, we've got coconut, which we're going to slice up very finely. And there we go. So that'll be our dog hair. Put that on top. Well, I think it tastes pretty good. I hope uh, some of you try it at home. Uh, and also, if you want a vegetarian option, because there are some vegetarians might be watching it, you can always use soy bacon. All right, so uh, until next month, and then just keep watching Simpsons, because what else is there to life? Bye.